Appreciate your time. Um, obviously, it's, it's been a great week here. Uh, I mentioned last night, I'm kind of the new guy on the block here for AIN. I've been with, the, with our company for, for about 12 years, but uh, this is my first year as a national accounts rep for the AIN group. Um, some of you have been my customers and other aspects of the business for a long time. But uh, again, appreciate you guys coming in this morning. I want to talk to you a little bit about a few, some of the things that we've got going on. Um, got my information up here. I'll have it at the end as well. So if you want to get in touch with me, <clears throat> most of you guys know our products, uh, our Good, Better, Best line that we've got out that's available today. Simon uh, line that we've had for quite some time with XT and XTI. Zero Wire, which is one of our new solutions uh, that's been out this year, uh, doing really well in the builder market. It's a home automation hub. We're going to uh, kind of go through that and give you a little bit of information with regards to that. And then uh, Advisor, which is just now being re released, and taught you just a little bit about Advisor. So uh, just like everybody else, when we get to the end, I'll give you guys a chance to ask me some questions. Uh, I have a feeling there might be one or two. But uh, most of us are familiar with the lines that are up here. So <clears throat> Advisor today is available. It can be ordered. We had it uh, uh, at the expo the other night. Most of you came by and took a look. We have the touch screens, we have the self-contained unit itself. Most of the peripherals are available. The only thing that needs to be added at this point is the cellular backup radio that is not available today. Uh, you'll be able to find that that will be available, we're hoping, by the end of next month. So uh, on Advisor, the touch screens, you can get those, the camera, we had that up and running at the expo as well. Um, all, all of the general needs that you would have to set that system up and have it working today, it's available, it's on the shelf, it's in distribution. You can go and leave right now and place an order and get those out and take, start taking a look at those. Zero wire. Um, just a quick show of hands. Who in the room has put their hands on a zero wire panel? I'm glad you guys have. That's a, it's important to me. So Zero Wire is a new solution. I'll give you just a little bit of background. Um, it's actually a company that we purchased uh, not too long ago called Ultra High Speed that we were very directly connected to. Uh, everybody knows that one of our solutions is called Networks that we've had for a long time back from the GE security days. It comes from my neck of the woods in East Texas. Um, used to be called Caddx, been around for a long, long time. Well, the, essentially the inventor of that line went to work for this company, Ultra High Speed in Australia, and continued his work advancing that product and solution line. And in the process, help develop this self-contained unit. It's a home automation hub that also does UL listed security. It's a, that's one of the big differentiators for us in this marketplace as an automation piece is the fact that we have the keypad built into it and as a result we have that UL listing for home automation or excuse me UL listing for security as well. <clears throat> so when we bought the company Ultra High Speed it was already really a part of our organization and had been from the beginning because they had that tie-in with the networks and with Jim Stevens and having the engineer that's doing the design work. So it fit together very nicely. Matter of fact, we released several products in the networks family almost immediately because he had been doing the development over the past 10 years on that. But one of the things, I think probably my primary point that I would love to get across to the crowd today is this. In the past, you have seen us, along with other manufacturers, move very, very slow in our industry. We all know that from a technological standpoint, from a communication standpoint, we're just not quick to move. We're slow. That's not the case any longer with us, this company, and this solution. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about when we release this, this product, the ability to control lights, locks, thermostats, and do all your basic security. 
Uh, we released the product with video uh, and with a, a, a pretty simplistic app that went along with it that did remote control for all of this. And that was with the initial release. We're doing an upgrade service package release every quarter. So every 90 days or so, you're gonna see a brand new set of software upgrades that go along with uh, the application, that go along with the portal that uh, you use from an administrative point of view, as well as firmware and equipment. So you're gonna start to see progress like you've never, ever, ever seen in our industry. <clears throat> All of those items are gonna come and it's upgradable to any panel that you have today. The hub itself, you're gonna be able to upgrade on the fly remotely. So this is where we started. The basic panel's got 250 uh, <clears throat> Z-Wave devices you can put on it. Uh, you can do 20 key fobs. It does uh, 60 wireless zones and four hardwired zones. Uh, up to 256 users, that kind of comes from the Networks platform where Jim Stevens came from. Um, and four partitions. And in this room, what we would call a self-contained security system. But again, this is a home automation hub. So in that unit, that's how powerful that is and it comes with it. Uh, we mentioned the Z-Wave control, lights, locks, thermostats, cameras. Let's talk about cameras for a second. From the beginning on this particular hub, you can have up to 16 cameras attached. And you can view those streaming live or they're recorded on edge. So on edge recording is actually storage in an SD card that's in the camera itself that you can access from the app anywhere. So that's a very, very, very powerful machine. Um, I wanna talk a little bit about the app. So this is what the app looks like today. You can use it on any of your smart devices. Uh, it's uh, Apple and it's also Android. So the app gives you the ability to do just about everything. It's a one-stop shop, if you will. So your end user, obviously they use that to control their system remotely or they use it to control their system internally. Because of how our communication process works, another differentiator is the fact that when you press the button from your phone, whatever you're attempting to do happens instantaneous. It's less than a half second delay. Everybody familiar here with uh, the competitors that are out there, Alarm.com, Total Connect, all those, you press the button and you count to some number. It could be three, four, five, 15, 20 seconds, just depends. And then that action happens. That is not ever the case with this automation system. This automation system, you press the button and instantaneously, whatever you're doing happens right then. It has to do with the way that we do communication. The server is not up in a farm. It's not a server farm cloud uh, based situation. The server itself is in the panel. And as a result, the communication happens immediately. So this app also is the app for which your installers they'll do all their programming. So in the past, <clears throat> with our systems, uh, you've had to take an opportunity to do some programming. <clears throat> then you have to go out in the field and check something. You gotta go back to the panel and check and make sure that some certain things have happened. That's just the process. And generally speaking, it's a process with everyone that's out there. Today, your installer can literally be on his phone or her phone programming at the switch, do the check, and move on because all the information is right there on their phone. So that's a time saver from an installation point of view, service saver, all of those things. Again, it's a one-stop shop app. Everybody gets to use it and have the opportunity. So program it. I can use it for my remote access if I'm an end user. So it's very, very convenient and it's a huge time saver. There's no concern about the technician having to know about this kind of programming and when they go to show the, the homeowner how to use it, it's all the same. They know it inside and out and it's, it's very easy to move forward with. Uh, on the app, obviously you have access to all your door sensors, all of your uh, home automation, as well as your video. <coughs> Johnny just got over. 
So, that's a good question. Yes, it does. If you'll notice in this slide, perfect timing. This is the first service release that we have out. And you'll notice there's push notifications that just got added. This service release just came out in the middle of the month. It's still January, right? We haven't moved to fe February is the next day or two. So the middle of this month, service release two, the second service release. So we're released in a quarter, now a quarter. You're going to see another service release here coming probably around ISC West time frame. But in this release, we added a garage door control that is the UL listed with the safety functionality of the, you know, you press the button to open and there's a light that flashes and a buzzer that beeps and you have to wait five seconds because you're not there. So you don't know what's going on. So remotely, whether it opens or closes, it allows someone that's, that's there to know. Um, also, we added language support. So we added four new languages, which is a, it's really a cool feature because whether you're in the, the control panel, whether you're in the app or whether you happen to be working through the administrative portal, depending on your login, whatever language you choose or needs to be for that user comes up. So if you have a multilingual office, you have a multilingual customer base, this will automatically float to one of those languages for that particular person based on a login. Geofencing that you may have heard of. Um, which also gives us some of the ability to do some of the push, not push notifications as well. Um, and then one of the things we did is we upgraded on the video aspect to go back and look at clips, a date picker and a few other things to make it easier when you're looking at those recorded video clips to go back and view those. So this kind of a service update, you're going to see every 90 days on this solution. Guys, that's stuff that used to take us 18 months to two years to develop. That's hardware, software, it's everything. And that's every 90 days. There's, there's not somebody else that's going to stand up here and talk to you about any of their electronic equipment that's probably able to say that right there. We're already doing it. It's not something we're saying we're going to do. That service release just got released. The, the next service, 2.1 is actually already completed and it's just a question of us releasing it prior to we're waiting a little bit of the hardware stuff that's going to go along with the release but that's a big big deal in our industry and a big deal for you guys to be able to stay up to date and stay current yes sir advisor so they're slightly different today. The easiest way for me to describe that is they're, they're on the same back end. So that technology is the same, but they're on different programs. The reason for it today is this particular one happens to be on an app style remote program. So when you interface from somewhere else, it looks like a, a normal application like you're used to. And the one prior, the advisor, looks more like a keypad simulator today. But as we move forward, we will merge those into an app style. So you'll see Advisor move along and come a little, become a little more like this particular solution. So it's just easier for everybody to support that. It just so happens we've been building them separately and headed down separate paths, and now we've just got to merge them back together. So I mentioned the app earlier. This is the stuff that's coming in 2.1, a little bit of it. Um, we intend to be able to release uh, two-way voice. Uh, there's going to be a bookshelf style camera. Today the camera we have is an IP66 rated outdoor wedge. So a little less expensive indoor style camera. Um, secondary touch screens, which we don't have. Okay, um, And um, also a new look and feel to the app. That's just a few slides there to give you an idea uh, of what we're looking at for the app you saw before. I showed you four slides of the app that had the picture, the video, and ever. This is a little more modern looking, a little softer feel, a little more like what our consumers are looking for. And this is going to be an ISC type release. So again, every quarter, big, huge steps forward that you guys are going to see from us. So questions, like I said, the main point I want to get across with is obviously you can reach out to me. We can talk about any of these solutions in depth. How quickly we are moving from a technological standpoint and advancing with these solutions 
uh, you're going to see things in the next year like you've never ever seen from any of the manufacturers. Yes, sir. How do the cameras get on the system? Being separate into the yard? So the cameras themselves are actually going to you can either hard plug them in the IP, or you can use them. They go into the router, or they can go Wi-Fi, and then they VPN tunnel out. More questions? How much it cost, Kurt? It's free. <laughs> it's absolutely free. So everything, and most of the people that came by the booth the other day, all of our interactive services moving forward are free. <coughs> we don't charge you anything for any interactive services or video. When you need to be, uh, need to have a communication level that steps up into uh, cellular backup, obviously we have no choice but to charge something then because we're going to get charged by the carriers. But the services themselves, the app, the remote look, all of that is free. Yes, sir. So the apps work even if someone's system is going over a landline? The, actually, there's no pots on this. It's either going to be Wi-Fi or it's going to be uh, cellular. Thanks, Kirk. Good stuff. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thank